You look at this, this is degenerative arthritis. What causes that is just the natural progression of what? Age. Now stay there for a second. Guess how long they'd last without degenerative arthritis? It would never develop. So the only thing that causes this is not age, it's actually what? We could eliminate so much suffering and death. Can you actually reverse arthritis? 100% yes. Can you help someone like this? Yes, you can. This guy won a Nobel Prize saying you can reverse those pathological states through And your medical doctor is not doing anything for your If you have arthritis, it's okay. Everybody say it's okay. it's okay. Totally okay, right? You can live 100 years with arthritis. You just can't live 100 years with a lot of pressure on the spinal cord. And you can have arthritis and not have pressure on the spinal cord. Let me tell you how it happens. Let me tell you how we fix it. Let's start with this. What's the one pressure, the one force against you every day on this planet? Gravity, 100%, gravity. So gravity's against us. The reason that we have these curves is to disperse the weight evenly throughout each angle each single joint so there's not more pressure on one than the other. If you just stacked bricks, where's all the pressure? Where's most of the pressure? Straight down. Straight down. And the biggest amount of pressure is at the bottom. When you have curves like this, and they go this way, then this way, then this way, there will be more pressure on the bottom ones, which is why they're thicker and bigger and the discs are thicker and bigger. But if you actually go and measure pressures, there's almost the same amount of pressure and they just slightly add up as they get what? Lower down. So there's not more pressure on one joint than there is the other as long as you have a curve in there. Watch this. This is a good curve in the neck. Do you see that? Number one, the spinal cord is not stretched, right? Mechanically, it's even amount of pressure across this. But then when you get to here, this is phase one, phase two, phase three. There's a phase four, but obviously we're not seeing it because people are so sick they're not even here. But phase one, what do you see? We've started to lose that curve a lot. It stretches the spinal cord, but now we've started to put pressure on the disc. Ready? Now let's fast forward a little bit. Now what do you see here? It looks like it started to buckle a little bit backwards, and now the disc, literally you can see them breaking down, getting thinner, bone spurs starting, and now it looks like the spinal cord's getting impinged a little bit, the, the fecal sac around it. Get to phase three, what do you see? Now these are bone spurs. See where the little pointy thing's coming off of it? You see that? and the discs are basically touching in the back. You look at this, this is degenerative arthritis. And every single doctor that you go to, guess what they'll say? What causes that is just the natural progression of what? Age, time, getting older, these things. Now stay there for a second. If I could take somebody, put their neck in the position where those pressures weren't there, guess how long they'd last without degenerative arthritis? It would never develop. And guess how I can prove that to you? Because I got people here that never lost their curve. But now watch, why is it always mid-lower? If you, this is age, Look at these two discs, they look pretty good, yeah? So how old are these discs and how old are these discs? <laughs> it's the same person, it better be the same. So the only thing that causes this is not age, it's actually what? Pressure over what? Time. I will say this in full transparency, the longer you wait to correct your spine, the longer it has to what? Break down. Can, now listen, I have people come in in acute situations all the time and I, I hate it, I hate people in pain. Uh, I hate it for them, I should say. If you really feel my heart, guess who I feel like needs to have their spine checked? Yeah, the 23 year olds who haven't had their issue yet, who are about to, newborn babies. By the way, Dr. Gutman almost won a Nobel Prize for this, found that 80% of all born children, whether it's vaginal or C-section, pulled 40 pounds of pressure, twisted to get them out of the birth canal with the shoulders and damages the first two bones, which leads to ear infections, allergies, tummy issues, uh, autoimmunity, all these different things, right? And so my point is, we could eliminate so much suffering and death and drugs if we just check spines. This is how it happens. Now, what I want to give you is, if your spine looks like this, can you actually reverse arthritis to some degree? And the answer is 100% yes, and we do that all the time. But most people don't think about this until when? They start having symptoms. Uh, not until it's too late, but at least until they have symptoms. And then they want to get off what? The drugs. And 9 out of 10 people get off their drugs here. But Let's talk about how we get there. The first way we get there is understand how we got here. And most of you guys are gonna ask me, how did it happen? How did, how did I get here? Well, this is a 25 year time lapse of somebody who did not get adjusted. I want you to look at this. This is taking x-rays every year or so and then put them together with a computer. What's happening there, do you see it? It's hard to watch actually, it makes me sick. It's lost the curve, now it's buckling forward. Now look, some of you guys have lost height since high school or college, but you didn't lose height. This thing is starting to shrink here, but it's because guess what's happening to these discs and joints? They're what? They're shrinking down, they're degenerating, and it's backwards. Now think about this physiologically, just anatomically. Is there any way that this spine, nervous system, this body can function and heal itself at 100% anatomically in this position? It can't. But the high blood pressure caused by that, guess what the doctor's not gonna look at? That but they'll sure give a pill for that, right? You see that? Or acid reflux or whatever else. Case in point, who's older? Looks like this one. 
That one is, and she's been going to a chiropractor since birth, which is very rare. Can you help someone like this? Yes, you can. I, every day. In fact, I love it. They get out of walkers and canes. They start standing back up right again. She's 83 and she is on nine meds. She wears a diaper. She can't hardly walk. She's got night blindness. She can't drive anymore. She's very unbalanced. Talks about what hurts all the time. When you talk about her, people will be like, well, she is what? 83. This lady's mid 80s, uh, upper 80s, and she literally, no pain, no meds, doing amazing. And I believe that this is normal, but this is common. If you're under chiropractic care for three years, statistics are very clear. You spend 70% less than somebody that's not under chiropractic care. All health expenditures, all, including dental. If you look at the nervous system, it just becomes deranged, leading to chronic disease, but this guy won a Nobel Prize saying that you can reverse those pathological states through physical means. What's that sound like? Somebody could do something to your central nervous system and eradicate the disease-causing state that it's in by forcefully doing something that does something to rewire you. Isn't that amazing? So crazy. And this guy won a Nobel Prize for this and says the spinal cord has organizer of disease processes. That won a Nobel Prize. And your medical doctor is not doing anything for your spine.